The clip you just saw was my first ever Diamond Red Fox. I got it back on 2018 when I used to play on Xbox One. Now I have 9 Diamond Red Foxes which are the result of the strategies I will show you. The best strategy consists on checking all the important spots at their drinking time. On both you can Valiant and Hersfeld and Red Foxes drink at every body of water. So it's important to give priority to a few key lakes and always check on multiplayer. For this species I actually prefer multiplayer hunting above single player grinding because of one simple reason. On multiplayer you can hunt multiple maps on the same day while on single player if you can find a diamond fox with your own population you will have to kill a lot of foxes to make one spawn. This will take hundreds of foxes and lots of hours so for this species that is actually really hard to kill a lot you'll want to stick to multiplayer obviously if you want to grind on single player I will leave you a route and my 10 locations I always like to start on this output right here and give priority to these lakes these four lakes first then I go up here this lake is pretty good then I go up to these two lakes on the dead forest I continue the route here on these two lakes and to finish the route I go down here and explore these five lakes they are also on these swamps but very few foxes here and a lot of terrain to cover so not worried same goal for this river very few foxes and a lot of terrain maybe this is the only spot that is worth checking I usually don't check it but you can and well these spots you can always check it once on your own map just to make sure there's not a diamond there but always give priority to these lakes especially on multiplayer actually just got this max estimate track this is the kind of tracks you will want to discover most of the times you'll have to rely on tracks for this species when you are tracking a fox I recommend you to just run you will reach them quickly they are slow also don't forget to use the 243 it's the best weapon to hunt them oh he's a knight mythical that's basically it for Yukon Valley now I will show you a map with the route it's basically the route I just mentioned this time I won't show the 10 locations but I'm showing you right now On Hersfelden it's a lot harder to spot the red foxes Most areas are really thick but there are still some lakes where you will be able to spot them rather easily Like on this lake right here Also this other lake is pretty good It usually has around 8 foxes and it's easy to spot them there a thing that you need to know is that here on Hersfelden you will have to rely a lot on tracks. Look for those max estimate tracks. There are some areas where you will be able to spot the foxes. 
like on this lake right here run around looking for those tracks check those string zones they usually have one or two foxes and now I will show you the best spots you can find red fox basically on every body of water here on Hirschfelden but to get a diamond you want to cover the best spots which is basically this river right here which ends on this outpost these lakes these three lakes also this little area right here they are also on this place on Rodwald on these three lakes they are hard to cover on multiplayer because you'll have to walk long distances but they are worried and also this river up here those are basically the best spots the key spots you can't miss those I don't know if I already mentioned this lake but it's also a key spot it's really hard to kill a lot of fox here on Hirschfelden really thick areas so definitely call to multiplayer and look for those tracks you'll have to be really selective to don't waste a lot of time now I'm gonna show the map with the route and just want to make clear that this route does not cover all these spots it covers the most important spots because with this PC time is key you want to check the important spots as quickly as possible and then move on to another map until you find a diamond and well with that said see you next time